What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Rebs. This is going to be the biggest tour that I have put on my channel yet. I worked so hard on the settlement; it's not much to the to the eye, but it is insane how many hours I put in this settlement. It's, I mean, I've, I mean, upgrading it and just adding new things. I mean, I'm thinking of new things added to the settlement every day. Matter of fact, I just added something to the settlement yesterday. Um. This is my favorite settlement. I love being here. It's secure. It's, I mean, coming into this, I wanted to be similar to Diamond City, and I, I nailed it when it comes to similarity. It's not a, the exact same. I'm, I'm not good with the details, but I am proud of this settlement. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, we are at Starlight Drive-In. This is the front gate. I, these barn doors, they just work well for the front gate. And I use this sign to my advantage, advertising who we are and what we have inside. So when we first come in, we have the guard tower up here, watching over the front gate. Over here is where our caravan people come through. To get into the city, you first have to come in to the entrance here, that's always guarded by turrets. <laughs> Anybody in the wasteland is allowed to be on this side of the wall right here. That's the mid wall. We call it the mid wall. Anyone in the Commonwealth is allowed here. They do have to get through the screening check here for the security desk. They can buy here. They can eat at the bar. Sorry, Green Top Nursery. If you Over work, here you eat. It's is simple a little as that. camping area that I thought of. This is where, you know, outsiders would come in. They built them a little tent. They're grilling, you know, they got their ribeye steak and their Marlin jerky. And they just sit around the fire, drinking their dirty water, lots of fish, sleeping on their sleeping bags. Got vending machines for everyone to use. Over here we have the hotels. So anybody can come and they can rent a hotel room if they want to stay for the night. The diner is ran from in here. Head up here. Got a guard here. Got a turret. Shotgun turret. Guard post standing at the door. And up here, I don't want to spoil much, so we're not going to go in up in the scaffolding, but we have a scaffolding guard tower. Head down here. Trash over here. All the hotel rooms look exactly the same. I don't know how that got there. They're just basic hotel rooms, but they're still nice. I got a place to sleep and storage. Speaking of storage, I really don't need those. I have been destructible by the friends. What am I doing? Anyways, when you first walk in, you have the mid wall. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an This is the stomach. entrance. You're greeted by the Minutemen statue. And coming in, we have, to your left, the locksmith shop. I only re the only reason I made this because I wanted another building here because it was just empty and there's a locksmith sign so I said why not make a locksmith shop. Come in here, ignore that, he's, he's working on his power armor, I honestly did not even know that was in here. He's got his desk. I put this here just in case I wanted to assign someone to be the locksmith, I would assign them to this. The chairs for people to wait to get on the locks, just pick. He's He's currently picking a foot locker, a steamer trunk, and a toolbox, and over here is where he keeps his tools. Go over here in the salon. I actually added the new vault tech salon here. It really goes well. No one's assigned to it yet, but it is. And right here we have the church. Hey, this easy the living. Here. This ain't. He's letting people sleep in the church. This is actually supposed to be for confessions, but... I couldn't get to work to my advantage, so he just let people sleep there. And then, the big eyesore, the market. Now, I went into detail with this place, straight up. The trade market. Upstairs is where the clerk lives. I actually took the time to assign him to the bed up here. I actually took the time to decorate it. Next 
is the diner. It's just a basic diner. The armor shop. The armor guy does not live above his shop. He has a house on the outside. The gun store. Weapons depot. And this guy does live upstairs. store. This lady also lives above her store. Like I said, I am always adding stuff to this place. The clinic. The doctor here station over here to make their medicine and I would call him the nurse not many the doctors eye machine back days. here upstairs they don't live up here this is their surgery room medical room surgery station couple storage surgery table and we'll head this way these houses right here are where all the farmers live they're lower class, of course. I hate to say it, but they are lower class. But hey, I treat them better than Diamond City's farmers. They just sleep like on the farm. Like if you've ever been back to Diamond City's farm, their farmers literally sleep outside. They don't have houses at all. So at least I gave them place to live. And past this wall is the farming area. I have it all gated off. I got the bombing pen. Potato plant here, water purifier back there, corn, and meat fruit back here. And no, it's not mutt fruit, it's meat fruit. Listen to the commentary of the game. I believe one of the doctors live here. I don't exactly remember where all of the people live. Right here, I want to say the other doctor lives here. And these are just apartments. They're a little bit nicer than the farmers' houses. And right here is where the bartender lives, not the the first one, the female one, but the male one, the ghoul who lives here. The female bartender lives here. Those two I remember. Before we get over here, we're gonna swing back around this way. Take a look at the bathrooms. They both look the exact same, so no need to look at other one. Then we're gonna head behind the farming here, uh, farming houses, which makes them even more dreadful to live in. Back here is where our generator housing is. I used to have more generators back here, but then they released that, and of course I used it. So. Got everything back here. Got the city power. Flip that switch. Everything in the city goes off. So now we're going to swing back away the security office slash police station. Just walk in, have a reception desk. Lots of chairs to sit. The cell to put the prisoner. Upstairs is just guards quarters. And on the roof a turret and a little place that the guards set up to chill just because they like to chill. I mean, what guard wouldn't after a hard day of work? Mm. 
this is my personal apartment for when I'm here. And back here is our store depot. Where we house all of our weapons, ammo, food, supplies. There's also one thing. Move this wall so it makes it easier. Right here is actually a little guard area where they can sit and guard outside, which they never do. I actually should put a guard post right here. But I actually built that there because it wouldn't let me put the walls there, so I just curved it right here and I put that over there, kind of like how Diamond City has their little guard spots. Up here, We do have this guard center right here. Usually there is a guard stationed up here. Look over the city. Look over the road. Then go back down. Step over this. Head down the elevator. We're in my office, the mayor's office. Got a little press of chill had to put the Christmas tree. It was so cool. I had to do it. I know it's not Christmas, but it's really cool. Got my desk, my new vault tech management system. Yes, it does work in other settlements, if you didn't know. A terminal, a safe. I'd say I ripped that out of a vault. Got my Tesla rifle. And I also have a chill place, like the guards, a little more comfortable. Smoke a cigar out here on the porch. And then I have my window to look over my city. So that is, that is it on this tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed sharing it with you. I've always wanted to show this settlement. I'm proud of it. I'm still adding to it. It's always a work in progress. I hope you guys loved it. Revs is out. Subscribe. Like for more. More tours will be on, this, on the channel soon. And I want to do a Let's Build video on Spencer Car Island. It is coming. Just wait. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.